I need to get out of here. I am I'm doing it. Doing it, bossy boots. What do you want? Hello, 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 and welcome to a brand new LP from my channel, Vampire. I did have this game, I got it for my birthday last year, but um, I only played through the very beginning of the prologue and maybe a little bit of the first chapter, I don't really remember. I decided I really wanted to play it for my channel after checking it out a little bit. So just a quick introduction, I'm Huddy, Huddy von Schland. I um, play games and I'm pretty, pretty darn terrible at them, and uh, that's sort of my appeal. <laughs> So let's go ahead and hit options. Okay, so I guess I can just select any of these empty slots. I did erase my previous save game. So, okay, cool. Let me just mess around with the options for one minute. I won't make you watch though. Okay, and let's start a new game. Um, I'm going to play personally myself on story mode, and I know if you've ever watched me play Resident Evil, I'm a total absolute weenie. Um, normal mode is okay, um, but me, when I play a game, I'm not really interested in the combat and, and, and making something difficult just for the sake of making it difficult. I like story. I like lore. That's my go-to when I play a game, especially a game like this. If it's like some sort of city building game or, I don't know, the early Tomb Raider games that don't have a whole lot of story going on, I sort of make an exception, but... For me, I enjoy the lore and the story of a game. Um, I enjoy the role-playing aspect if it's that type of a game. So that's that's just my personal preference. And if you don't like it, leave me a comment. And tell me how horrible I am because I happen to agree. <laughs> Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under Crown of Stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. I'm getting One Sweeney Todd vibes. for the summoned called by this song. It is perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. It is perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness? but lurking sun? What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? Get him to a hot topic stat. <laughs> He's got the, the emo death. vibes like crazy. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. Right. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. No, well, it's downright natural, wouldn't you say? A true punishment would be to never know its sweet. Okay. <laughs> Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. Let me know in the comments your feelings about becoming a vampire, because I have strong feelings that I'll maybe talk about later in the game. Okay, so he's, he's obviously the guy from the cartoon who got bitten. Ew! We're right in the midst of a plague in London, yes? Gross. Me personally, I would never want to be a vampire, although I think they're so awesome and cool. Just because I have this thing about me where I would never want to watch my loved ones die. I would never want to lose my humanity or not be in control of it, so. But I would love to hear what you guys think. Uh, okay, oh god. <laughs> oh, bad. I got so drunk at the pub last night, I can't do a British accent. Let's pretend I didn't do that. Am I following this really, really, really red trail of blood? It's like Silent Hill meets vampires up in here. Oh, whoever you are, you look delicious, madam. 
think you're a madam. So thirsty. <laughs> Come here, darling. I'm gonna give you a kiss. Did I scare you? That's cool, you can't see anything but this, like, the circulatory system. <laughs> oh, she sounds like a poodle. Okay, there's obviously somebody he knows, and he's can't tell who it is, obviously. And he's going to kill them. It's his wife or something. Or his mother. Oh dear. That's horrible. And then that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I would never want to be in that situation. Although immortality and power sound amazing. I don't... Or a brother. It's a sister, okay. What have you done? Mary! Mary! <laughs> no! Mary! Oh no. That's terrible. Hold on! Please! Hold on! Good going, Jonathan. Ah. Although at the same time, again, you can't really blame him for that. He's not a person anymore. There's a there's a, a bestial aspect to being a vampire that, especially at the beginning, is outside of your control. It's horror. It's a nightmare. No! Please! A moment! Let me explain! Ah. I tripped and my teeth oh. fell into her neck. Ah. Ah. God, okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, run. This way. Do I have control? Yes, These go. Are after me. Did no. they see us do Don't that? Or... or what? This is a nightmare. Sure is. I need to get out of here. I am. I'm doing it. Doing it, bossy boots. What do you want? That's uh, okay. It's not good. Oh yeah. No, please Ow. stop. I mean you no harm. What's going on? Get down. Stop questioning everything and just focus oh, on running Mary. away. What have I done? You killed her. What's all this about? Get over this barricade. Yep. How do? What? <laughs> oh, hey, what's this? Oh yeah. No. There we go. I can defend myself. Yep. Oh. Defend myself from these barrels and wagons and stuff. Oh hey. Who are you? Right, three. How? Stay back. Sorry. Stay back. <laughs> you left me no choice. Who are you? Stupid beast. Uh, well, I didn't get a chance to dodge because I just murdered him senselessly. I get a chance to dodge here though. Please stop. Oh, ow. Set me on fire a little bit. Yeah. What, do you want? what do you want? Better prices. Hi. I mean you no harm. I, I need help. Die, you fucking leech. Huh. Please. Well, that's unfortunate. Listen to me. I, I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah, ah, what in God's sake! Don't do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, ah, just, just leave me. Ah, ah, okay, so obviously ah, they know about vampires. Ah, I don't know if this ah, is like supposed to be actually the 19th century in London, or if it's some sort of alternative. Feels like it's burning me to the bone. Yep, sort of alternative history. But are I these like vampire hunters or whatever? Oh, you got a flamethrower, don't you? Right huh. Let me go. Don't, don't, <laughs> stop. Die. Uh, go through I here. Find shelter. I'm working on it. God. Is anybody there? I certainly hope not. What is this place? <laughs> you have vampire strength, but you can't move a, move a bookshelf. This seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Okay. Uh. 
As always, I have to run around the room looking for collectibles because I just love that in games like this. I love it. Ooh, five shillings. And fire and sun. New collectible. Did I hit the wrong button? Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Fire and sun. Leeches do not fear the sun or fire, and they do not burst into flames or ashes when they are caught under rays of daylight. But it hurts them good. Really good. I have personally chained a vampire to a tree to see what would happen when the sun rises. Its skin blackened in a few minutes as if it was burning from the inside. Its eyes and flesh melted, and I saw its unholy bones move and squeal as the beast tried to escape all day long. In the end, only a desiccated corpse remained, which started to slowly regenerate when the sun disappeared behind the horizon. I cut its head off to finally destroy it, and when I tried the same test with fire, the bloody leech never came back from the ashes. Fire is our weapon of choice, brothers. To burn the beast is the best way to kill it for good. From Know Your Enemies by Carl Eldritch, Pruin Leader. Okie dokie. That's good information to know. The sun is high. I cannot leave Oh well, now. my goodness, I just thought it was like a cupboard or something. What's this? He sounds like Jimmy Stewart when he Mary. says Mary. I can't help it. I can't help but laugh at it. Mary. Mary. I'm sorry. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. Okay. Again, I can't really hold him responsible for that kind of stuff. Oop. Bottle of alcohol. Nice. Oh, there's a dead body here. Wanna look at it? Oh. What the hell? Is that because of the, of a plague of some kind? Or is it just like decomposing for a long time? Wait. This one's dressed up fancy. <laughs> Let's run through his pockets. Pete in the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I still have rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. Okay, What's that's this? one of the Undertakers? Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are Undertakers. <laughs> now, give him an Eve. Okay, so he gets sick, I guess? That's impossible. What is? <laughs> that you remember something after you died? Because you didn't die, die. You got turned into a vampire. Well, anything else good in here? Ooh. Okay, we still got a reflection. So, that trope is gone. Who goes there? The prayer of the sun to my warrior soul. A child born from darkness must take the scent of his power. Who's there? Are you referring to me? <laughs> no! No! I still have so much to accomplish. That is never something that would have crossed my mind to say as I lay dying in a street. I still have so much left that needs doing. But maybe I'm just not that ambitious. <laughs> Five more shillings. So far I have to say the voice acting's a little um strange to me. And hilarious. Okay. Is it the other Undertaker? Johnny, this one's lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! 
Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. Why does he even look crazy in his flashbacks? Um, what war would that have been before? No, it never got easy. In the 19th century, like the Crimean War, maybe? Used revolver, cool. Bloody Diary, 15th October, bad sleep, Becky coughed all night, and the fever made her delirious. I heard a loud noise in the morning. It's a big machine some men brought by the banks to dig a hole in the ground. It was some sort of mechanical shovel. Maybe I could go there and ask for some work. Becky needs medicine. 16th October, I talked to the men with the mechanical shovel. They told me they are digging mass graves all around London. Safety measures, apparently. Is there a new epidemic? Is the flu coming back? They had no work for me. Becky slept a little last night. The foundry has been closed and there are no more jobs nearby. 19th October, I went to London to find some groceries and drugs. No trains. It took me the whole day to cross the Thames and come back. Becky seemed better. I made a soup she ate. I found no drugs, only a few syringes, and some sleeping pills on the black market. We have no money left. Maybe I could go to the Pembroke Hospital tomorrow? But it's so far, and I fear leaving my wife for so long. 19th October. Becky threw up the meal a few hours after she ate. She is so frail now, it makes me cry. She says she hears voices outside at night. She says she wants to eat meat. Where would I find meat? Tomorrow, I'll barricade the house to protect us from looters. 21st October. The men with the mechanical shovel have stopped digging the mass grave. I heard shouts last night as if they were attacked. Now there are only a few boats throwing bodies day and night into the giant hole. The smell is terrible. We should have left this house a week ago, but Becky, she refuses to leave. She'd rather die, she said, with a nasty smile. Why is she torturing me so? 22nd October. Becky just attacked me. She jumped on me from the stairs and tried to bite me. I had to smack her, but she smacked me back. I went upstairs and locked myself in the bedroom. Now I can hear her crying and mumbling downstairs. I retrieved the gun I hid in the ceiling since the war to protect the house. Now I'm ready to use it to protect myself from my own wife. 23rd October. I could not sleep at all. Becky spent the whole night scratching at the door asking for my help, begging me to let her in, but I was too afraid to open it. I'm just waiting for her to die now. It would not be long. I pray God will end it soon. 24th October. I was so hungry, I tried to go downstairs this morning. Becky was sitting in the armchair by the chimney. She was panting like a dog, looking at me without moving, just following me around the room with her eyes. I pointed the gun at her sore face, but she did not react. I could not pull the trigger. I went back to my room. 25th October. The house is silent like a tomb. No more noises. Becky is dead now. Forgive me, my love. I was unable to save you. I'll be with you soon enough. Okay, so that's really, really, really interesting. So the person downstairs um, was Becky, I imagine. And uh, I don't know how she got the pocket watch. Maybe it's not the exact same pocket watch as he had. It just, he saw the pocket watch and reminded him of the pocket watch the Undertakers took. And this is obviously Becky's husband who killed himself. Now, as for what Becky was sick with, I don't know if she turned into a vampire and because she couldn't get out of the house, um, she couldn't feed and that's what killed her or, you know, it was some sort of really bad brain wormy type of plague where, you know, you just go totally insane. I have no idea, but that's super interesting. I can't wait to find out, but I'm going to click on this bed because obviously Jonathan wants to take a little nap. This makes no sense. None of it. Sure does. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. Well, yes, but a waking nightmare, as we call it. <sighs> so be it. I don't think that'll work. You got shot a bunch of times getting to this house. <laughs> Ooh, that sweet lag. I do appreciate that that intro. It's very nice. I like it. <laughs> Gets a gold star from me, absolutely. Oh! 
You think the blood would have dried on his neck by now. <laughs> oh, there's a hole in the shirt, but obviously no hole in you. Yeah. <laughs> there's blood everywhere. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Evolution. Hideout beds allow you to evolve and rest. Spend experience points to level up and improve your vampiric skills. Oh my goodness. Autophagy. Begin by selecting the available skill autophagy, which is this one. Autophagy. You drain your own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage instantly. Cool. Okay, so I just... Oh, oh I hold down to take... Okay, I get it. I feel you. Cool. Does that say? Autophagy passive. The vampire uses the power of his blood to heal normal and aggravated damage, increasing his flesh, nerve, and bone regeneration. With time, this vampiric ability can be extremely powerful and is sure to surprise any unwary vampire hunter. Okay, so obviously they were vampire hunters. We think of vampires as immortal, but if you can block their unnatural regenerative capabilities, they are more vulnerable than you think. Cool. You have enough skill to unlock an aggressive skill. Choose one to unlock now. Okay, and that's these guys here. We have Claws, a close-range strike that will cut through all living creatures in front of you. Neat. Blood Spear, you throw a spear made of blood, which can pass through enemies in front of you. Neat. Shadow Mist, place a cloud of shadows at the target's feet or yours. The cloud will explode after a short time, causing heavy damage. I think I'll take Claws. Claws seems fun. As natural predators, vampires have received some gifts from Mother Nature, like claws instead of fingernails. These natural weapons can easily cut through tissue and are very useful for piercing a prey's arteries. If you use your claws, you will see humans differently, like soft and tender meat. Now select confirm to save your choices. Okay. voice in my head. If I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Right, but... We'll have to save that for the next part because I am going to end this part here. If you did enjoy this, please let me know in the comments. Leave me a like or a dislike. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you for the next part of Vampire. Bye bye.